Now, I want to dive into where this all started, the placebo effect in particular. It, it really was birthed, the way that we do a lot of our medical studies today was birthed during World War II. There was a physician and his name was Dr. Henry Beecher. And Dr. Beecher was treating soldiers who were severely wounded in battle. At one point, he ran out of morphine. We know morphine is an incredibly strong pain-relieving drugs in these soldiers were, I mean, we're talking about major injuries, uh, loss of limbs, uh, incredible, incredible pain. And he was desperate to provide his patients some form of pain relief because they ran out of morphine. Well, Dr. Beecher instructed a nurse to inject saline solution, that's salt water, inject saline solution into soldiers, telling them it was a powerful painkiller. Well, remarkably, one of the soldiers reported significant pain relief after receiving the saline injection, which were, these were placebos. And then they started doing it with many soldiers. And it's estimated that around 30 to 40% of those soldiers saw tremendous pain relief. Some of them, the same level of pain relief as if they were taking morphine. I want you to think about that for a minute, that your brain can create chemicals within your own body that are as strong as morphine, one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, pain-killing drug on the planet. And then after this experience in World War II and treating these soldiers, Dr. Beecher, then he was an American anesthesiologist, in the mid-20th century, so around 1955, he wrote an article, and it was titled The Power of Placebo. This was then published in the Journal of American Medical Association, which is known as JAMA, and he argued in there that placebos could have a significant effect and should be factored into clinical trials. Well, this birth, then what we know today is sort of the gold standard of medical studies, which are known as double-blind placebo studies. And I also do want to mention, this is very interesting. Dr. Beecher had a whole health philosophy and it was called the terrain theory, which was opposed to the other most popular medical philosophy of the time, which was developed by Louis Pasteur, who developed pasteurization of milk. And he developed something called the germ theory. And so most of the American Medical Association, the AMA, believed that the reason why we get sick today is due to germs. You're exposed to germs, you get sick because of germs. So anytime you're sick, for the most part, they believe it's due to germs. And this is why we started creating antibiotic hand soap and taking antibiotic medications. And really antibiotics became by far the number one prescribed drug, of course, penicillin and others uh, over time. Now, so I want you to think about these theories though. So Louis Pasteur was, you get sick because of germs. Now, Beecher, who developed the placebo, he said, no, you get sick because of your environment, not because of germs. It's because your internal environment. So he gave this sort of example that, listen, if you have garbage in your body, you're going to attract bugs and germs in that way. Not that you can't, not, not that. So, so he would say that if you are exposed to a cold virus, Okay. Um, everything from, you know, COVID to a rhinovirus, so different forms of, of a cold virus. G the germ theory states, and Louis Pasteur states, well, if you're exposed to it, you're going to get sick. Henry Beecher pointed out, though, that no, you get sick because your body, your environment is internally weak or it's, uh, or you have maybe too much sugar in your system or inflammation. And so when the bug comes in, you, you created a good environment for it to thrive, and so that will make you sick. But if you create an environment internally within your body where your body is healthy, you likely won't get sick. And so that was his philosophy, which I very much adopt and believe. The Beecher theory, as most people that are into natural medicine and functional medicine, really more adopt the Beecher theory, where a lot of standard medical physicians throughout history have adopted more of the germ theory of you get sick because of your exposure to germs. And so we always just want to treat the germs where Beecher said, no, we need to go and change your internal environment. And for him, your environment wasn't just your physical state. It was your mental 
emotional and spiritual state. So if you truly want to heal, it's a mind, body, spirit treatment in terms of, again, it's eating healthy or it's sometimes taking medications, but it's a more holistic way of healing. Hey, if you liked this, then watch my full episode right here. 